men do it women do it too i just don't think that women are ex <laughs> are excluded from doing it um women probably learn how to do it from men you know it is it's, it's not a one gender type of thing i and i think that you would be you know na naive to think that women don't take advantage of men that they don't have their own agendas whether it comes down to dick whether it comes down to money whether it comes down to some type of covering or security it happens but it's the intent i think stacio said that it's it's the intent when you have an intent to take advantage of, it's, it's it's one thing to really have a desire right mm -hmm. to to want to be in a man's life and want to help him and want to see him do well and see both of you guys do well and, and advance with your family that's one thing to have a desire to want to do that but it's another thing when you coming in sideways trying to trick a man into that type of, of either lifestyle or even a, a dating type of uh, uh, a situation where you just want him to buy you things you just want him to pay for your nails you just want him to buy you a new bag like there's a difference and I think men can tell the difference but when you when a man is in a vulnerable state he really is not thinking logically he's not most most men are not emotional like women are but they are weak when they're vulnerable they are and that's why they don't get vulnerable with everybody that's why they do choose certain people to be low low with right they don't choose everybody to be low with they choose certain people to be low with and most times 99.9% .9 of the time is not with a woman because they know this can happen mm -hmm. Is anybody that haven't spoke on it Everybody spoke. Go ahead, Swinney. Marcus, you almost had it, bro. <laughs> almost had it. <laughs> this is the thing. And, and again, we keep trying to make this a predatory thing, and it's not. For example, just to go back and use Marcus's example, a guy, and, and I'm sure, Andre, you've experienced this. A guy comes in, or you may have talked to a guy, and he said, man, I did everything. I pulled out a chair. I walked. I opened up the door. I took her out. I was all of this for this guy, uh, for this woman. And when I when it came time and I was looking for a relationship and I wanted to be with her, or he could just be one, like, man, I wanted to have sex with her, and she cut me off at the door and said I was just a great friend. And he gets upset. It's the same thing. Like, now, let's use Marcus's example. A guy comes in. He sees a woman. She's grieving or whatever. He may genuinely like the girl and want to, and he's like, okay, I care for this woman. I'm going to go. I'm going to do all of this. And what happens is he thinks that's what she, he thinks this is what a man's supposed to do for this woman in this moment. So he's doing all of these things for her. And then when it's time for him to shoot his shot, he gets shot down and he gets upset. That's essentially the same thing. It's not malicious. I don't think it's malicious intent. I don't think that even women, when they do it, it's malicious intent. She's basically saying, your strategy that what you think may work for that person, you're trying to go in with this strategy, with this plan in uh, place for a guy, and then you find out that the strategy doesn't work. Don't come back to the world and get upset about it. Your strategy didn't work because it wasn't working for that guy. He wasn't ready. Don't come out and say all men ain't shit. Just like a man can't come out and say, man, these bitches ain't shit because I did everything a man was supposed to do, and she turned me down anyway. That's not how you're supposed to do it. Either be genuine about how you want to move, and if you are that person, then be that person. But don't get jaded when it doesn't work out for you because you thought you was dealing with a man that you can, that this will work on and it didn't work. But we keep trying to add this predatory thing on there and this predatory, that's not what it is. I think we deviated oh, from that. Hold on, I'll, I'll drop the definition for predatory in the background. A person who ruthlessly exploits others. Ha, uh, air quotes a sexual predator I didn't even know if ruthlessly fit the criteria so the definition for ruthlessly without pity or compassion for others he clearly stated to her that he was not ready she disregarded that and decided to do what she wanted to do without That's care true. or consent for what he needed or wanted at that point it became predatory when you disregarded what the other person needed specifically to do what you wanted, ruthlessly exploitation. She really cares. She has that healing. But you, have to, but you have to. But you have to. Right. You have to understand like eighty percent of black women. But you have to understand that. I would assume that it have to be the intent going in. 
Now get upset was, because it, hold on, That's what no, she said. No, she, she said that. Well, she did say that, but like I said, when she further clarified <laughs> it, it doesn't make any sense. Her first statement and the last and how she clarified it didn't make any sense. That's why I confused a lot of people. It, Basically, yeah. what she was essentially saying was you go in it thinking that this is gonna work on these men, and then when it doesn't work, you get mad at the world. That's all she was simply saying. Stop going in it with these good men. They still good men. But because they wasn't the man, because they wasn't a good man to you in that moment, now you want to cast on all of them as bad men. No, he just wasn't ready. But don't get mad at him. Move on with your life. That's all she was saying. No, we in agreement, except for the predatory part. And right. I think we in agreement now on that too. Because we assume, yeah. like, because then, because y'all are assuming that a lot of them, because um, we're assuming that these people go into it with ill intentions. Just because they get upset in the end doesn't mean it was ill intentions. She, no, she said that in the beginning. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. It's okay. something that y'all aren't really paying attention to. There's an angle of this, just like y'all see my shirt, right? My neck shirt that I'm going to come out with is going to say, don't be tempting us with that pussy. I just want to say that. Y'all got to really look have... at it from a marketing standpoint. That's how we men are going to be able to stop these women <laughs> from being predators. We got to put it on our shirts. Ladies, stop tempting us with that pussy. Wait a minute. Let me say something. Wait, real quick. Bio. <laughs> Wait a minute. No. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me just say this. I'm making that a shirt. <laughs> because that's actually not even funny. Like if once no. once sex is involved and a person is like saying <laughs> This is something I don't want to do. This is something I'm not ready for. And they're in a vulnerable and weak state. It's a difference between, like you were saying, pulling out a chair for someone and doing all these things to try to flatter a person and woo them. That's completely different once a sexual act is involved. Once a sexual act is involved, it becomes predatory because you're doing something for your gratification sexually. So Yes, if, women. So... <laughs> But this is for both genders, just like Precious said. This is to both genders because both no, genders don't touch, both. don't make it both no, genders. No, no, because no, I'm, I'm, saying, I'm, saying it's, it's, I'm saying it's possible mm -hmm. for men to do it. It's possible for women to do it. I would never like. I'm not going to sit here and say it's okay to be predatory, but we have to first acknowledge the fact that that is what it is. If you are trying to get sexual gratification from a person and they are vulnerable and are not able to really but, give right, that's, that's the thing. Oh, wait, that's the thing though. though. That's the thing though. The that woman ain't mad. The thing is that when she further explained and when she got to the end of her statement, the woman ain't mad because she got sexually gratified or that she did that he didn't give her sex. She got mad that he didn't give her a relationship. You're not listening. You're not listening. You're so not if listening. somebody hold on, wait. So if somebody goes in and says, Hey, look, I'm just in it for the sex, and you're then you find out that that's all he's in it for, and then you get up that I'm I get what you're saying. I heard you. I heard what Are you, you said. scratching your wig? I heard. Are you doing the let go? Come on, that bro. Black girls be doing? bro. What? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Okay, go I'm on. not scratching her wig. She's tapping her head. Come on, man. Oh, I thought she was okay. No, she isn't. She's tapping her head because she's saying that I'm not listening. I heard you, Andre. I get what you're saying. What I'm saying is, is that what she's describing is not a person that's using somebody and they're trying to get sexual gratification against the other person's will type deal. What she's saying is that they what they. That they're using this because they think that's what the person that they about to get with wants. And then they get together, they have the sex, they do whatever, but then she finds out that what she really was trying to get out of this person was the relationship or what or more than just the sexual gratification. And then she finds out that he's not ready. And then she's mad at the world and she says, All men ain't shit because this guy wasn't ready for her. That's I'm what it boils down this, to. Right. 